In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a second EXP50 expansion module onto a Yaling T54W. Before we get started, I want to tell you about a company who's been providing telecom services since 1985. US Tech is an industry leader in providing low-cost VoIP, UCAS, SIP trunks, and every kind of telephone service in between. They can drastically lower your phone bills, provide telephone service for your home or business within hours, and provide ongoing technical support along the way. That's U.S. Tech. Call, text, or chat today and let U.S. Tech do the work for you. Okay, what we want to do is grab the pieces that came in the box for the side piece and put them together just like this. Now we need to attach the first side piece to the T54W and you do it just like this. Next we need to attach the second side piece and you do that just like this. Please note that if you are using PoE for the phone, it will power the phone and the first sidecar, but you will need a power cord for the second and third sidecar if you want to use multiple sidecars. Otherwise, the second and third will not work without a power cord. You know, we added one expansion model earlier, and this is all set up. This is expansion one. You'll see we have three pages on this of buttons that are programmed. But let's say I want a second one. Well, this is where you're going to come to do that as well. You're going to go to DSS key inside the phone. You know, we logged into the phone by using the IP address. And we're coming down to DSS keys and then extension key. And once you go there, if you have the modules already connected to the T54W phone, these will show up. If you don't, then none of this will show up in this button right here. So since we have everything already connected, we've already got expansion one already filled out all three pages. So we're going to go to up here in expansion key, there's going to show another one. And you can add up to three expansion modules onto one phone. But please keep in mind, you do need a power cord for expansion module two and three if you are using more than one. The first module does not need a power cord, but if you're going to use more than one, you got to start using power cords. Otherwise, they, the phone won't power them, especially PoE will not power them. But anyway, we're going to go to expansion number two. And you'll see we have three more pages on expansion two. And we've already filled out a couple of them for keys uh, for keys one and two. We've got we changed it to BLF key 175 label, and we're going to keep that at 175 for the extension two. This will always be line. So let's do the third button. We left off at 176. So let's go to BLF again. Grab our next one. We'll go to 177. I'm going to put in 177, add the label, and add 177 again, and confirm. And now on our module, it's showing for the third button, extension 177. So after we finish doing these 20 buttons, we're going to go to the next 20 buttons, and we're going to just do the same thing. Fill out these. You can do three sets of 20 keys, all up to 60 buttons. And then if you want to add another expansion module, this will be showing number three down here. And you do the same thing. It's as easy as that. And that's all there is to it.